Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn from Jessica Lynn Original Studios, and this is our final video for the Dells. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little series. We had such a little getaway that was so much fun, and I really just wanted to share it with you. Um, our last place that we're going to take a look at today is a walking look at the Wilderness Resort. Um, I love the wilderness, although I'll tell you our goal now is to try and head over to the Kalahari and some of the others just to take a look at them, uh, maybe get some videos for you guys as well. But the wilderness has been one of our favorites. Um, it is undergoing some renovations, which are really exciting, and I'll point those out as we get through. Um, this is, I would call this, if you will, kind of like an all-inclusive. Um, you pay for your room and then you get to use, they have um, one, two, three, four main water parks plus a whole bunch of stuff outside if you're here when the weather permits. Now I can tell you we've typically gone to the wilderness during the winter time. So this was the first time that we actually experienced it over the summer. And I will tell you a couple of things. So my pointers and tips for you, number one, Pick, if you have kids of any age, I mean, I would say probably over mm, five or six, so six and up maybe, um, the wilderness or the Kalahari, we'll just talk wilderness because that's the one we've got here. It is such a good place for kids. Now, when you've got tiny babies, if it's just like you, your significant other, and then your baby, you might want to take a look at like the Holiday Inn or something like that, um, only because there's just a lot less people. It's a lot less hectic when you have a little one. Now, I will tell you on the flip side, when you have a five or six year old and all the way up through a teenager, the excitement of the water slides outside, inside, here, there, everything, the wilderness is a perfect place for all of them. Um, there's a lot of things to do. I will tell you, parking is a little hectic. Um, they are working on f changing up the whole Wild West kind of area. So there are a couple of different lobbies. Um, and this one was one of the older lobbies. And I'm so excited. Um, we're hoping to head back sometime in October or November so that we can go and take a look because they are renovating the Wild West. Um, and you'll see that in a minute. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Um, they put up some videos and some like drawings of what the architects have done. It looks amazing. So there is such an adorable bear. Now I do have kind of a thing for the wilderness. Obviously I love the one in Disney World and I do love the wilderness. They're not related at all, but any sort of, you know, Northwestern th lodge theming. I just, I love all of that. Um, I will tell you though, just like any of the other hotels, they are changing it from Super Lodge, if you will, to Contemporary Lodge. Um, when I say that, truly what I mean is that, you know, they used to have carpets that looked like pine cones and lodge and whatever. There were animal heads all over and you can see they've still got some bears. They got a bear here and some other stuff. Um, they also, um, they've just been changing a lot of it out. And if you look here, this is the old original carpeting because they haven't done all the renovations on this side yet. Um, but they have built that beautiful candy store. This is one of a couple of play areas for the kids. Phenomenal. So let me just turn so you can see here. There's a full arcade. It's so cool. And then there's kids that climb the ropes above you. Tons and tons of games. It's really fun. Um, we did that and they've got decent prizes for their uh, return. You know, but I always tell my kids never to commit to the prizes of any of those games. Um, this was the first time that we were able to swim outside there. Um, there's water tubes and slides, and there was a whole bunch of stuff for the little kids. So, I mean, you could take a little kid. I'll tell you, I think once you get into some of these bigger resorts, it gets difficult if you have, you know, just tiny ones, um, just because there's just a lot of people. Um, it was so much fun though. So beautiful, well-maintained, lots of seating. I know I've said that before. Sometimes it's really difficult when you're at the bigger resorts, but the wilderness did a great job of making sure we had a lot of seating. And as you can see, I'm gonna look over here to the left in just a moment. And this is still the closed off area. So they are redoing the Wild West Water Park. We cannot wait. Um, it has been in need of an update. 
And like I said, the drawings from the architect look amazing. And I know they're doing that sometime in October. Um, so my suggestion would be is that October will probably be pretty busy or whenever they launch that. I would probably encourage you to go sometime November, December, or over the winter time to really enjoy that. Um, maybe on, you know, days when it'll be a little less crowded. Um, there was Pistol Pete's, which was a really cool ice cream area. Uh, they also had coffee. They had tons of different flavors, lots of different uh, toppings for the ice cream. Um, a nice walk up at bar for the parents. There was laser tag and then straight to those doors. Um, that actually took you right out to the water park outside, which tons to do out there. Let me just show you again. We'll walk over here and you can see there's all kinds of little things for the little kids right there. There's like the little tree house, little slide. They have the same sort of look like with the little beaver and the worm. Uh, a butterfly. They have that um, inside over by the wave pool area, but you can see there's a lazy river. There's some cabanas. So, you know, here's the thing. You can really spend all day there. I mean, when I was a kid, they didn't have these mega resorts with all the water parks. We used to have to go to Noah's Ark because um, that was really all there was. And it's so convenient now to have these resorts like the wilderness that you know we can go and do multiple things and i'll tell you um, when i think about it we have stayed so many times at the wilderness um, one time recently we did one of the villas with my husband's mom a blast they literally had this huge house upstairs downstairs i mean we had enough room for probably 10 or 12 people and it was just the five of us it was awesome um, we've also done Monty's. So if you guys know what Monty's is, comment down below. I'm not going to tell you about it right away, but we've stayed in Monty's. It's the coolest ever. It's weird, but it is so cool. Um, we've done plenty of the two queen size bed, one of the king. We've also stayed over at Cubby's, which is a blast um, in a condo. Um, I don't know. We've just been there so many times. It literally, this one is our go-to. It's why I love it. It's just so you can see this side again we're still kind of over by where the wilderness or the wild west side is um just for those of you that don't know those are chocolate covered jalapenos and chocolate covered strawberries phenomenal lots and lots of fresh candy so good but you can see these hallways still have the original um carpeting and theming oh t-shirts too amazing like i loved their designs and again, because I'm a Wilderness Lodge kind of girl, it was kind of fun to see some that reminded me of what I would have bought at the Wilderness. And so I did get myself a sweatshirt this time. The other thing that's really nice is on this second floor, everything is connected. So if I was at, let's just say that brand new open Wild West water park, I don't have to go outside. Now I do have to walk all the way down to the end of this hallway, over to the right, and then all the way back up probably about a 15 20 minute walk if that but it's so worth it and the nice part is if you come here in the winter you can go to all the indoor water parks and you don't have to worry about ever going outside now again you can see that slide up in the upper corner that's where that new water park area is going to be um, you can see there's that green thing with like the circular um, these tubes are all outside and again they're only available seasonally typically you know memorial to labor day but again, tons of lifeguards, super clean. Now, some of these tables, you can see, I think people camped out immediately and kind of held the space right away because it looks like they've been kind of living there all day. So if you're looking for one of those and you're not gonna get a cabana, make sure you get there early and then just sort of stake out that space. Now, I wanna show you what the new hallway looks like. Very clean, like I said, very more like, let's call it a contemporary wilderness. Um, you can see it goes from the brown with the yellows. Now the walls have lightened up, so they're more of a white color with a brown panel. And there's that right over there. Those are the villas we stayed in. You can see now it has like brown paneling that goes kind of down and then blue at the bottom. Now where we started was all the way over there and we walked all the way around.
Now, if you're looking for pizza or ice cream, the ice cream is a little expensive, but it's really good. Um, the pizzas here are amazing, and they will deliver it to your room if you're staying at the wilderness. Really good pizza. Get the breadsticks, too. Um, phenomenal. Like, we really like it. Have them just toasted a little bit more. Um, again, there's some of that carpet. You'll see it again real soon. So we were over at one of the um, water park areas in that arcade area. We walked all the way down that hallway and around. And we love this one too. There are a bunch of big slides. So if you look all the way to the back, there's a couple of big green slides back there. Those are a ton of fun with the family. Some of them are individual or two person riders. Um, there's a ton of little kid park area right down there in the front. You can see there's a lazy river over to the right where that person in the red was standing. There was another fume ride. Um, you can see there's a ton of water slides. And if you go to the back, we're not going to go there this time, but behind this whole, you know, mining car thing, there are two water slides back there, um, which are a ton of fun. The kids love them. Um, they are bigger than a small kid's slide, but not quite a teenager's slide, if that makes sense. the best part the kids there was one time it was so funny my oldest daughter did not want to go on that um, slide in the back that I was talking about and so she got really mad at me and was like mom how dare you make me do that and I said fine I don't want you to do it anyway and then that water bucket we didn't even hear the bell and we both came around the corner and the bucket just drenched us both and it was hilarious it was almost like okay you're on vacation guys you know <laughs> and it just it was so funny so you can see the design a little bit better. See that carpet nice and bright. Um, one of the things that we love at the wilderness is the paint and pottery shop. Um, it's called Polka Dot Pots. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. And they kiln or cook your pottery every night. So in other words, if you do it before a certain time on Saturday, you'll be able to go and pick it up Sunday before you leave. So I love that. Some of the other places, they'll only do that like once every couple of days. So it's really cool that you are able to, um, you know, paint your pottery and pick it up before you leave. If you're there for a couple of days, I always encourage people to do that early in the trip, just so that you have plenty of time to make sure you have it picked up. The kids loved the leaves on the ground. You can see they're playing kind of like hopscotch between them, which was so much fun. Um, the new look is very clean and beautiful. Um, you can see there's even new name or number tags on each of the rooms, which is fun. And when you get all the way around to the front, there is a brand new gift shop. Now this has been here for probably about a year and a half, I believe. Um, but it was all themed out, all beautiful, tons and tons of wilderness merch. And price-wise, super affordable between, I would say, 25 to 50 um, like this really cool sweatshirt, this is the one I got, um, 50 bucks. 
like that's an awesome price if you go to Disney that would probably cost me like 80 um, but loved it you know what I mean like good quality and it was a big heavy thick wilderness hoodie too you can see very Wisconsin fall kind of a hoodie which I really like um, again this one was 30 really good quality merchandise um, lots of stuff now look at these cups they were so cool they were actually squishy I don't know how to describe them any other way, but they're really cool. Like, I think at the pool, that would be cool. I wonder if they float. Maybe they do. Very cool, though. And then tons and tons of, oh, I forgot, you know, my sandals. I forgot my swimsuit. It doesn't fit anymore. Oops, I forgot to try it on. Um, it's got these. I've never tried them before. If you've ever tried them, I'm so scared to try the cell phone holders. It scares me. Um, sunglasses, towels, beach bags, cover-ups. They've got it all, plus a lot of lifeguard, like, I'm a lifeguard at the, you know, the wilderness resort, you know, I mean, even though you're not, it's still kind of fun, right? It's got that spirit jersey feel, tons of, like I said, swimsuits, um, we always seem to pack a couple of them. We've stayed in the condos before, and some of the condos do have washer and dryers, which is amazing, because then we could wear a swimsuit, wash it, keep moving. Um, they have this whole burger bar. This is actually a donut truck. Um, they have donuts in the morning and they make Aloha donuts. Lots and lots of seating. I think this could be a really fun place to sit and watch like a football game. Um, they have a huge television that it's probably an 80 inch TV just around this corner. And you, I think it'd be so much fun to watch a football game, get some you know food, hang out with the kids and the family and just relax. Hula bears, I mean, too cute. Typically, I'm here at the winter time, so I always see like Christmassy stuff, but it was nice to see Luau. Um, they do have an elevator, and this elevator will take you straight downstairs, which is where the wilderness check in is. Um, I do like this new check in area. It's nice and open, really sunny, it's always bright. Um, there's one of the other TVs, those are a bunch of multiple TVs all connected. But again, really great place to kind of watch people top flight if you see that over there that is just like going to Epcot and going on Soren. it's Soren at the Dells is the best way I can describe it over here around this corner this is um, obviously soda refill machines but once you go around the corner there is a full restaurant uh, they used to have a wilderness buffet um, that was set up very differently it was really dark really like that old school wilderness where it had like log cabin walls it was really dark in there so i like what they did they opened this all up they kept the original fireplace but it doesn't look like any of the animals that were there like they had a stuffed like fox and some possums and other stuff doesn't look like they're all there anymore this is where you go to that take flight and then off to the left over here is more candy Got to get the kids sugared up to go on the rides, right? Um, they were making fresh turtles when we were there. They smelled so good. Oh my goodness. Um, tons and tons of chocolate and candy. It's just, it was like Willy Wonka's shop right there. Um, they had tons of candy apples they were working on. And the little things in back, there were little minions. And then these little chocolate, uh, they were like dark chocolate with like some stuff in the middle. They looked so good. Over here, this is that buffet that I was talking about they still do have, and it is a restaurant as well. Um, so they do offer a burger bar and some other stuff throughout the day. Typically, breakfast is their big time of the day because then a lot of people just kind of do different things for lunch. Um, you can see there is in this candy shop just regular candy by the pound, which is totally fun.
Now, one of the water parks we haven't looked at yet is the Wild Water Dome. It is our favorite. There is a big family raft ride in there, um, and it's based off pounds, so you can only have so many pounds on the rides. It's it's pretty generous, though. I want to say it's like four or five hundred. Um, down here, there is an indoor racetrack, which we have done so many times. Uh, the Wilderness sometimes will offer a deal where you can get all of these entertainment things included. If you can find that at a good price, go for it because your kids will love it. There was one time we actually found a Wilderness Groupon, which was very rare. And if we've ordered our room, we got the ride package included. So we got to do unlimited mini golf, laser tag. Um, I think there was mini golf in the dark. And then obviously these cars and the kids, I want to say we did the race cars probably 12 or 13 times, which would have been way exceeding the cost. Um, but up over here, let me show you what we got love this this is our favorite place and if you look straight through those are the villas right there see those wilderness like in the let me just see if I can get over there there we go see straight through it looks like wilderness houses those are the villas we stayed in one of those last time we were there with my husband's mom <gasps> amazing although very weird because you could go on the second floor balcony and you could see into the wave pool which was kind of cool to people watch but it was kind of odd uh, but they were amazing we loved them um, you can see the wave pool is just getting ready to start. Again, there's that fun, iconic little take your picture by the Wisconsin Dells inner tube. Um, up to the right, there is a lot of big slides. Just remember you have to bring, um, you have to go all the way up the stairs, so it's a lot of work, but it's way worth it. Tons of fun. And the wave pool, of course, is absolutely amazing. And off to the left, there is a walk-up bar which was cool. I mean, we've never done the walk-up bar because I don't drink, but it's very cool. And then back behind this whole thing, there's a bar called Survivors. And in there, they've got tons of drinks and lots of really fun, like tacos and all kinds of other burgers, quick kind of food. But um, everyone I know has said it's really, really good. So I hope that you enjoyed our walk through the wilderness. I hope this inspired you and got you ready for your next trip. Um, if you have any questions, I don't work for the wilderness, but I absolutely love it there. And I'd love to try to do my best to answer whatever I could, or I'd send it off to their team to try and answer it for you. Again, my name is Jessica Lynn. I'm the owner of JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like, and if you have questions, comment below.